Miguel's act of courage. He knew he couldn't do it. He just knew it. Public speaking was not his thing. Every time Miguel was asked a question in class and put on the spot, he froze. His mind would go blank. He couldn't think. The pressure was too much. One day, Miguel's favorite teacher, Mr. Lee, randomly ca called on Miguel in English class. Miguel, do you have any ideas on the topic? Mr. Lee asked. The topic was courage. Miguel had many ideas on courage. In fact, in his own life, Miguel was striving to be more courageous when it came to interacting with others and speaking in public. You see, Miguel was shy. Well, at least in school he was. At home, Miguel was boisterous and playful. He enjoyed playing video games with his friends, Mikey and Jacob. One time, in fact, they played video games for nine hours straight. They loved joking, pranking one another, and fishing. With his friends, Miguel felt comfortable. School was different, however. At school, Miguel felt nervous. And this nervousness caused him to isolate himself from others. He wanted to fit in. He wanted to be accepted. But there was a fear that overcame Miguel when he was with large groups of people. He feared messing up. He feared not being accepted. Instead of embracing his fears, Miguel often secluded himself. He spent much of his school day on his phone watching reels and playing video games. His phone was his escape from uncomfortable situations. Whenever a moment came to socialize, Miguel pulled out his phone. Deep down, Miguel knew that he needed to interact more with others. He wanted to be more sociable and liked by his peers. Miguel had decided a few weeks before that he needed to overcome his shyness by being more courageous. This meant Miguel would have to socialize and interact with others even when he was gripped by fear. As Mr. Lee in the class looked at Miguel, he felt uneasy and nervous. Mr. Lee asked the question again, Do you have any ideas on courage, Miguel? Courage is when you refuse to let your fears control you, Miguel said. It is when you... Miguel started feeling nervous again. He realized the entire class was staring at him. He began to freeze up. It was at this moment that Miguel decided that he would not let his fear of public speaking control him. It is when you embrace your fears that you become courageous, Miguel said. And just like that, Miguel had answered a question in front of the class. To some people, answering a question in front of the class doesn't sound like much. But for Miguel, this was an act of courage. For Miguel, this was a confidence booster. Great answer, Miguel, Mr. Lee said. Now can anyone else share?